Hello everyone. So welcome to another episode in my Unreal Engine multiplayer shooter tutorial series. So here, uh, this is what I want to do today. So now that we have implemented replicating and synchronizing between the instances of the game, things like and throwing grenades, but uh, in the grenade throwing system even though the local player can see this uh, projectile and he is going to throw a grenade but, uh, that grenade throwing action is not replicated in this player in this uh, for other players so in this window you can't really see the grenade throwing action so that part is what I want to focus on today uh, so here by duplicating this rifle idle um, animation and modifying by adding some keyframes like this I have created this animation that character is ready to throw a grenade the animation doesn't look great at all look great at all but that's all I can put together for now so I'm going to use this animation so let me oh wait let me add these keyframes and apply right now we have an animation now let's create an animation montage from this and let's make it loop so character will go to this stance um when he's about to throw a grenade okay also created uh, this animation which shows after throwing the grenade action this is also again bad but uh, this will be enough to show the concept and i'll turn this one also into an anime montage idle rifle toss montage and yeah Mm, okay now this should be played on the upper body slot which I haven't created yet so I'll create another slot here body the reason to uh, do the grenade throwing in upper body is because the character may be in a crouching mode so in that case also it should work all right uh, don't need this select upper body here right and we need to select the upper body for the other animation montage as well for this one right and uh, we need to add upper body slot into the animation blueprint so was or body use cash pose whole body and slot body slot get it like that and duplicate this now do a layered blend per bone like this so this part should be applied after the hair spine and we can set up 
the layer like this as the branch filter select the board name spine so after the bones of a spine uh, whatever I put here will be applied for the animation other parts will be driven with whatever we put into this whole body cache pose so to test this uh, let's put this animation here and compile oh I think this should be interchanged yeah okay that's the way <coughs> all right now we have completed the montage upper body group setup for the animations uh, now how do we get that and throw in state all right we have this throw in which will be set to true when I start throw in right here uh, so I'll set this to replicated and then uh, but even if I replicate it that don't I would have no use of it because um, then I will have to check if it has been set to true in the tick which I don't like to do so well Let's create another event. Right. So how do we play that particular montage when we are about to throw? So let's create what's this throw grenade. Okay. Uh, let's create a custom event. Mm, what should we call it play montage on server play montage right so this should be multi-class sorry this should uh, run on server and as an input we need a montage and duplicate this This should be multicast play montage. So what this does is, if it is uh, on server, multicast. That should that means it should be uh, replicated to all other clients if this function is called on the server. Right now, let's play montage of it. Get the reference to character body and play montage. Like this. And this one also similar. So let's collapse to a macro. Like this. 
now here let's have a branch and check has authority this is how we check if this is called on the server or in a client so if it is true to a multicast play montage otherwise on server play montage like this yeah uh, well actually we can collapse this one also to a macro play montage with server check we don't need two outputs only one is enough promote the montage like this okay uh, now as the montage use throw montage and here I have set the number of players to 3 and let's play so this bigger window is the server and this smaller windows are the clients so now I'm playing in a client so if I press G you can see <clears throat> grenade throwing action is replicated to the server right but not uh, but in here it is not replicated see this is the same character as in here uh, so if I do this on server it is uh, replicated to all the clients um, let me show you again I don't think it's clear okay now this is a client and this is another client let's go to a place where everybody can see me yeah now this is a client and from this client let's throw a grenade so it is replicated to the server as you can see in the bigger window but in the left lower window uh, even though I look the look up and down part is synchronized replicated the throw in animation is not replicated but when I do something in server it is always replicated to all the instances so what's wrong let's see here oh, let's do something like this when we play it on server let's call also multicast no yeah here call multicast play montage in here too and let's see now here is a here is a client and yeah now you can see it is replicated to both the client and the server from the client okay great now we need to play the other montage to show the actual throw in animation as well so for that let's use This is the first animation, the looping one, and this is the second one. Okay, so let's make this one shorter. Like this. Right. 
toss montage and in here let's call this with uh, toss montage Okay, let's do a throw. Right, as you s just saw, uh, the throw in part is also synchronized. Let's check from this server. This right. Now you saw the action. Okay, so now I think that's all I want to do. So you can see the action is being synchronized the montage is played uh, on all the instances from server to and also it replicates from server to client and client to server and client to client like both did okay so yeah now we can stop this episode right here so we can of course we need to more improve the animations they don't look good but I think this part this replicating montages part is clear for you and yeah so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files will be available for the download here in the patron page and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye